Hello again. Today I'm going to show you how to convert a room into a camera obscura using two different techniques. And we're going to need a bit of equipment to do that. You're going to need a magnifying glass lens. This is just out of a one of these things which you can buy from a pound shop or a dollar store. Sharp craft knife or Stanley knife. Piece of card. It doesn't have to be big and it doesn't have to be black. Just cereal packet will do, something like that. Knock the stuff off my desk. We're going to need some tracing paper and some sort of blackout material, so bin bags or trash sacks are okay. Um, cardboard works alright, black fabric, anything to block the light. And then finally, we're going to need a small room with a view out of the window. So, let's get on with it. To begin with, I'm going to cut a hole, circular hole in the piece of card. Uh, this is about 8mm across. Um, somewhere between 5 and 10mm is usually fine. The larger the hole, the brighter but the less sharp the image will be. I'm going to take that piece of card and stick it on the window at about waist height. I'm using some black fabric for the blackout and I've cut a slit in the middle so the light from the hole can shine through. Having completed the blackout with just the light from the hole shining into the room, your eyes will have got used to the darkness by now so if you turn round you should be able to see the image projected on the opposite wall. It's good isn't it? The image is going to be upside down, that's normal for camera obscurers. And that's looking towards the hole, but again on the right hand side there you can see the image projected onto the wall. So for the second type of camera obscura, I'm using my craft knife and I'm actually cutting a larger hole in the same piece of card. It doesn't have to be round this one, I'm just cutting a sort of square, about four by four centimeters and then I tape my magnifying glass lens over the hole. Now when we use a lens as opposed to a hole the image is focused not on the wall but much closer to to the window where we've got the lens stuck. So in order to get a sharp image use a sheet of tracing paper and you actually focus it by moving further or closer away from the lens from the window and it usually is somewhere between about two feet to five feet to get that sharp image it depends on which lens you've got but it, it looks really good it, it almost like holding a living painting in your hands so give it a go for yourself and let me know how well it works in the comments I'll see you next time